the roll coverage concept is one of the best coverages every single year in Madden, and it is something that you should add to your game. Now, I'm going to show you this concept first out of Dollar Three Two, and then I'm going to be showing it to you out of the Nickel Three Three Cub. I have ebooks on both of these defenses on my school.com community platform page. If you guys want to sign up for that, it's got access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, both for Madden and for NCAA. You get unlimited access to all of those ebooks, all the updates to those ebooks by being a member. It's only $10 to sign up, and the link is in the description. So roll coverage or a roll coverage concept is really best showcased out of the coverage Cover 3 Cloud. Now, in the coaching adjustments, and if you're going to run this coverage, I find it to be most effective to utilize these coach adjustments. We're going to have, in our nickel 3-3 cub, we're going to have our auto flip on. For dollar, you can run this with auto flip off. I'm going to run it with auto flip on. Option defense is going to be on conservative. All of our zone drops are going to be on default, and our zone coverage is going to be set to match. Now, the reason this is called a roll coverage is we are rolling our cover three coverage over a specific side. So as you can see here, when we run this with our auto flip on, we are rolling our coverage from the wide side or the bunch side over the top of the single or the solo side. So essentially what this does is this outside third is going to allow this cloud flat to play a little bit more underneath, a little bit more aggressive, and it's gonna be a little bit more disciplined in terms of its ability to take away kind of corner routes and then really kind of those short corners that you see a lot uh, with with double corner and I'll, I'll talk about double corner because this is the best method in my opinion for defending that so I'm going to audible over here to mesh flat spot and we're going to set up the double corner combo and I'm going to show you that if you look at this this uh, this play on the cover three side of the roll coverage which is the cornerback in the outside third and the safety in the blue or the middle third, you're going to notice that when we roll over the solo side, the double corner combo is going to have a lot of success because essentially we're just playing a cover three to that side. But when we flip this and we roll our coverage over the top of the compression side, it's going to play significantly better. Now, one little hack we can also do is utilize a vertical hook that can potentially match uh, different different types of corner routes. So you'll see here, and if we take a look at this real quick, you're gonna see that this is what the defense kind of looks like. So notice that this safety is gonna roll over the top of this, and what he's gonna be able to do is he's gonna be able to go guard the deeper corner, and then that cloud flat is gonna guard the shorter corner. So you see here, kind of what it looks like, and you see that we're able to bag the double corner route combo. The roll coverage concept is not just good for the double corner route combo, but it is also good for limiting sideline throws while still maintaining significant coverage integrity to the middle of the field. So I'm going to show you how to create this out of nickel three three cub. This is the newest defense I dropped on my uh, pay or on my school.com platform. If you guys want to check that out again, links in the description. We're in the safety nickelback package, and we are going to have our auto flip on. Our auto alignment is on default. Now, I find this to be best and most effective, and the reason why is because this is going to allow us to press with that outside third, and we can kind of essentially, this is the closest thing I could say to like a full field coverage or a roll coverage concept that is going to take away some stuff. So we're going to utilize Tampa 2 as our base coverage shell. And essentially, all we're going to do is we're going to roll from formation weakness to formation strength. So we're just going to press our coverage we're going to shift our defensive line to the left. We're going to crash our defensive line outside. And then from there, we can kind of craft our coverage however we want to. So there's a couple different methods, but one of them is to basically do a coverage that looks like this over here on the right. And then we can, um, you know, if we want to drop a three wreck, we certainly can do that. Another thing that we can do is we can just drop this guy on the left into a curl flat. So the curl flat and the outside third, or also the seam flat and the outside third, is a really good zone combination to defend kind of the, those uh, solo wide receivers. And then this roll coverage is really good for defending kind of street corner flat type of combos. So if they go to the double corner play, what you're going to see is, again, that cloud flat is going to defend the short corner. And then you see we get the vertical hook matching and we get that outside third 
to make that a really, really difficult throw for your opponent. Now, another thing that you can do with roll coverage that is really not talked about, especially when you have the safety nickelback package, one of the things a lot of people like to do in Madden is they love to audible or, mo or uh, check into trips. So what we can do here is we can just flip our play and set up our roll coverage like this. So we have a couple different methods in which we can utilize the roll concept here. What I like to do the most, and I think is the most effective, would be to roll over the tight end side. Now, the reason why I find this to be the most effective method, although you could do it the other direction, is because the tight end was going to struggle to beat that cloud flat, but the trip side is going to struggle to beat the outside third coverage. So what you're going to be able to do here is you're going to go third, third, third. You see we get those unique adjustments. Now, the biggest and most important thing I could tell you is always make sure you do not leave this mid-read. By putting this guy in any other zone, I like to just put him in a deep blue or blitz him if I need to get better sheds. What this allows us to do is it activates these matching principles from our vertical hooks. So now all we have to do is just drop that defensive end on the left side into a hard flat. In this case, since we're only rushing three, we're going to blitz our user. We're going to be able to stop the run really well. And you're going to notice that these vertical hooks are going to do a really good job of matching different coverages and we're going to play some really, really, really good defense. Now, another way that you can set this up when you go to trips, and just imagine that you've come out, you've set up your, you know, you've set up your defense, right? But then you all of a sudden they audible over to, you know, trips, and they run maybe, you know, slant posts or or whatever, right? So another method that you can you can utilize is you just flip your play once they audible. And then you can actually do the opposite. So now we can roll the coverage over to the trip side if we want to. So we're going to outside third, the right side safety, middle third, the middle safety or the right side safety. I'm sorry, outside third, the right side corner, middle third, the right side safety. And then instead of leaving this deep path, it's really helpful to put him in an outside third because this is going to take away the verticals route combo. Then our user now is freed up to have a lot of uh, to be able to help with a lot of stuff over here to the tight end side. So we'll just take this guy on the right side and put him in that curl flat, kind of similar to what we were doing at a bunch. And then if we want to, we can do a coverage like this and kind of make it a little unique. If we want to only send put put three people in coverage, this is really effective because as you can see, essentially we're going to cover the the weak side of the trips with only two defenders but then we're going to be able to get five or six defenders all the way over across the formation which is going to be helpful for stopping some of the best route combinations in the game such as the slant post this is the roll coverage concept in madden i hope that this video was insightful and helpful and if you want to learn my entire defensive strategies my offensive strategies how to take your madden game to the next level sign up for our school.com community page the link to sign up is in the description for just ten dollars you'll get access to all of my madden and ncaa offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all of the updates to those ebooks so you can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below